Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you how to install FortiKit and VMware. So this is my VMware. I have already installed my VMware. You can download it from Google. So uh, I will select this. You need to download FortiKit VMware image first. To download that, you need to go support.fortinet.com. I have already logged in it with my account Santosh Sharma. So when you will log in, you will go to download and you need to click on firmware image. By clicking that, you will see this screen. In this screen, you can see there are two options release notes and downloads. So release notes is a very important. Suppose you are going to install image of 2.8. You need to read release note first. This is very important. So in that release note, company has mentioned that what weaknesses the firmware has. So you cannot directly go and install any firmware image. You should be having prior knowledge what are the weaknesses in that firmware. So if you will install that firmware, there should not be anything wrong. It should not be like that your uh, firewall went down, your network is not working. So first read the release note. Then I will click on downloads. So I click on download. Now you can see there are so many versions. So I will go to version 5.0 and I will install 5.0, not go to the latest one. Go to this was the most stable update. So you need to search OVF for your VMware. When you click OVF, you can see there is a two of your files, 32 and 64 my system is 64 bit so i will download http 64 bit version you can download 32 if your system is 32 click on https so it will start downloading so i'm downloading it fourth time okay so if you do not have account in support.fortinet.com then you can arrange firmware from anywhere it's not like that if you do not have device you can log in and download the image whosoever would be having firewall registered in this account that person only can download the image so i cannot tell you how to download from torrent if you guys are smart enough so my image is downloaded here after downloading you will see one file like this this is a zip file so you need to right click on that go to 7 zip and extract here my file is already extracted after extracting you will see this much file so open your firmware now double click on this file you will see this give it name primary now you can also make it like all as it was or you can also rename it's on your choice click on import so it will ask you to accept these are the agreements okay now it's ready go to edit so i need this network adapter one to get connected to my this system i want to open this firewall through this uh, like i want to go to internet here and when i will enter the ip address this firewall should open so for this I need to select any of the network adapter, click in that, click custom and go to host only so that it should connect to my resource and now click OK. No other setting you need to do. Now power on. I don't know what this message is. Okay. It will take uh, some time at restarting booting the kernel system is starting okay now it has started so the username is admin default username is admin there is no default password you need to hit enter okay now you are inside of your firewall now you want to see the interfaces show system interface so these are the interfaces here port 1 port 2 port 3 So there are 10 port LAN ports here. 
So when I was in edit mode at that time, there were 10 network adapters were showing there. So these all adapters are showing only due to this reason. It got exit. I need to log in again. So the first thing that I need to do is to configure the IP address so that I can access this machine from my host machine. So you need to type the command config system interface which port we want to edit okay let's say port 1 edit it set ip now which ip you need to assign set ip address of your system it is 192.168.132.1 okay assign this ip well, uh, not this one this series ip 192.168.132.1 now the submit mask 255.255.255.0 now hit enter okay now ip address is assigned at any time if you don't know the commands you can right click and you will come to know the commands now i want to set allow access now suppose you need to know what you want to type now these are the options after allow access question mark will help you set allow access https http ping ssh i want to enable all those things there is no need to save the configuration if it's automatically saved click end now you are done we need to check execute pin 192.168.132.1 this was IP address okay i am able to ping successfully that's great now let's open it 192.168.132.11 okay so here one thing you need to notice that I have logged in through HTTP because it is showing not secure. ADMAN admin base no password. The first warning that it will show is 14 days until expiration. So you will get your license only for 15 days. After that you can install it again. Remind me later I will click on that. So now your machine is ready. What do you want to see in that? There are a lot of options. Under dashboard, there is a status. Status will show you the host name, serial number. There is nothing serial number because it is a VM image. The mode is that you can change the mode from here. Transfer it and click OK. Okay, we are not going to change it right now. HA status is standalone. Like there is no another firewall. I will configure another firewall in next video and it will show here at mode and uh, system time August 23 okay the time is synced uh, time is uh, wrong date is synced okay we can change it for the version is this system backup from here you can take the backup backup the configuration local PC if you want to encrypt you can encrypt give the password and confirm but I don't want to encrypt backup okay now it's been backed up if you want to restore it click on restore choose the file where you have stored uh, maybe it's in download or test documents download yeah this is the configuration when you click open it will get restored so I think it will get restart also let's see what's going on here the system is going down now so if you have to restore the file your system will go down it will restart again so be careful about restoring if you're in live environment you need to take the downtime for that you should not go and do on your own okay setting successfully uploaded please wait while system restarts system has restarted now we can refresh it okay go to admin attachment has been uploaded wait i have not asked for the license uh, okay admin which file it is asking I think I have installed that uh, image, that's why they're showing this. 
it is asking me for installing the license OTP login tension admin session remove because license registration status changed to valid okay so I have installed uh, restored the configuration and it has asked me for the license so be careful don't do that okay guys thanks hope you like this video in my next video i will explain more features about fortigate so please uh, comment like and share this video hope you enjoyed this video bye